Good morning to you on this Saturday morning. We're taking a brief pause from looking at the Psalms today because today is the 31st of October. It is Reformation Day. On this day in 1517, Martin Luther nailed his famous 95 Theses to the door of the Wittenberg Church. Originally, he had intended these as talking points, as, as points to be discussed with students at the university. He had no way of knowing that this action of posting these on the notice board on the church door would spark a reformation that would reach down to this very day. The main point was that Luther was writing against the false doctrines of the Roman Catholic Church of the day, especially against the teaching that man is justified by good works and the selling of indulgences that people could pay certain amounts of money to have their sins forgiven, to receive um, little bits of paper that said that their sins were forgiven. Luther saw what an abuse this was of holy scriptures. His main text, really, that opened his eyes was in Romans 3.28, where Paul writes, For we maintain that a man is justified by faith apart from works of the law. We maintain that a man is justified by faith apart from works. Justification is by faith. By faith in the death of Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ hung on that cross, he paid our sin debt in full. He shed his blood to pay for our sins. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. When we believe that Jesus shed blood on that cross, paid for our sins, when we believe in his atoning death on our behalf, our sins are forgiven. It's got nothing to do with good works. It's got everything to do with God's grace and his mercy and his love for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have eternal life good works are important in the Christian life but good works will not save us only faith in Jesus Christ will save us when we have been saved then we start to do good works the good works will not save us no amount of money given to the church will save us it's only when we call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ when we trust in his shed blood on the cross of Calvary, that we are saved. That was the whole point of the Reformation. That was the whole point that sparked off everything that followed. Today we are grateful for Martin Luther, that he never backed down. He stood firmly on the word of God. I encourage you today, never back down from God's word. Stand firmly upon his word. May the soldiers of the Reformation be ours also. Sola Scriptura, Scriptures alone. Sola Fide, Faith alone. Sola Christus, Christ alone. Sola Gratia, Grace alone. So let's now bow our heads and thank God for Martin Luther. Let's thank God for the Scriptures. And above all, let's thank God for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ upon that cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bless you, we thank you, we praise you. Firstly, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you paid our sin debt in full, that when you died on that cross of Calvary, you shed your blood for all mankind, so that whosoever believes on you should not perish but have eternal life. Thank you that salvation is not dependent upon our good works, because we would never have an assurance that we've done enough. But thank you that our salvation is dependent upon faith in you, and when we place our trust in you, we know that we are saved. Lord, we thank you today also for the scriptures. We thank you that your word makes it so clear. We thank you for Martin Luther, what a great man he was, used by you mightily. Lord, to show people the truth, to set people free from the tyranny of the Roman Catholic Church, to set people free from bondage, from slavery, to false doctrine and religion. We thank you, Lord, that as it says in your word, you shall know the truth, the truth shall set you free. So many today are still enslaved by religion. Lord, we pray that you would set them free. So many are enslaved by the systems of this world, not even believing in anything, not believing in you. Open their hearts, open their minds. Lord Jesus, may your light shine upon all. 
For when you died on that cross of Calvary, you died for all mankind, so that whosoever believes on you should not perish, but have everlasting life. We make a new commitment right here and right now, Lord, to stand firmly upon your word as Martin Luther did, not to waver in our faith. Scriptures alone, we believe that your word is sufficient, that your word has provided everything that we need, and we thank you for your word. We ask now, Lord, that you would bless this day. We pray for those who are in need. As always, we pray for the sick and the dying. We pray, Lord, for those who are spiritually lost. We pray, Lord, for our loved ones near and far. We pray that you would protect us and keep us from evil this day. And hear us now as we join together in praying. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, I pray you have a blessed day today. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you tomorrow as we celebrate Reformation Day.